Hey guys, it's Lily LPS here, and today's video is doing popular series character quizzes, which basically means I'm going on this website called Quotive, which has personality tests, quizzes, stories, and more. And yeah, I thought this video would be fun to make because I love watching people do these sorts of videos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's begin the quizzes. The quiz is, what experiment 42 character are you? It is the official quiz by LPS Ace and it was made in 2016. So it's a bit old, but not really old. And a thousand people have taken this quiz. Holy guacamole. And if you don't know what Experiment 42 is, it is a very popular series. It's gotten millions of views on each episode. And yeah, let's get into the quiz. The first question is, what is your favorite color? The answers that you can choose from are blue, red, yellow, green, rainbow, and pink. My favorite color is green. The next question is, if you could have any of these pets, what would it be? The answers are dog, cat, turtle, unicorn, bird, and dragon. I think a dragon would be cool but hard to take care of. Same with a unicorn. And I've got a cat right now, so if I had to choose another pet, I would choose a dog because I love dogs. The next question is, if you could be an elemental, have superpowers based off of the following, which one would it be? The answers are earth, air, water, fire and electricity and I don't know what I would choose this is kind of hard earth is the weather one so we're gonna pick earth which of these is most likely to be your spirit animal fox wolf squirrel owl deer snake and lion I've never taken a spirit animal qu quiz so like I don't really know but I absolutely love foxes and wolves and deers so this is a hard decision let's just choose a deer because deer are pretty cool. If you were a character in a superhero movie, what kind of character would you be? Answers. The main character, the great villain, some super cute background character, the fun loyal psychic, a mad brilliant scientist, the reckless weirdo, the wise psychic kick, or you'd probably die within the first 10 minutes to be honest. I don't think I'd be the main character because I'd be too afraid to like fight people and I wouldn't be a villain because I don't want to be mean or hurt anyone and I wouldn't be a scientist because I like absolutely don't know anything about science. I think I'd probably be a background character or like I wouldn't be a sidekick and I'd probably die in the first 10 minutes so we're going to just choose the background character because like I wouldn't I would just hide the whole time if you had superpowers what would you do with them I don't know I, I would want to help other people because I like helping people but like I wouldn't want to get involved you know so develop your powers learn how to use them properly fight bad guys hide them from everyone who knows what other people might want from your superpowers get revenge on enemies show them off or use them how you would want to. I think I would probably develop my powers and learn how to use them before I actually just go save the world, I guess, because it'd be kind of dangerous. <laughs> Question seven. Your best friend has been taken hostage. They're in a locked room. How would you get in? You search for clues and tips on how to find a key, a trick you've learnt on TV to open a door. You cry until the door finally opens or you blow up the door. I wouldn't blow up the door because that's dangerous. I would probably get really upset, so I guess maybe the third one. And I don't really know any tricks that I learnt on TV, so I would probably just like, I wouldn't go into looking for it because, like how to do it, because I would, I would probably get it all wrong and mess it up, so I don't know. Probably wait until the door opens because I am not that heroic. Question 8. You found out your friend has a dimension traveling device and has never told you about it. What would you do? Steal it, keeping it a secret from you was wrong and they pay the price. I don't think I would do that because it doesn't really matter that much to me having a, a dimension traveling thing because I like the dimension I'm in. Activate it immediately. 
I wouldn't activate it knowing nothing about it because, again, dangerous. <laughs> talk to your friend about it. Yeah, I would talk to my friend about it because I want to know what it is and it would be kind of scary going into another dimension. So I would talk to my friend about it. The last question, question number nine. Which of these words apply most to you? Love, cheer, envy, dear, protect, and create. I guess I support and love my friends and family, so maybe the first one. I would like to protect people, but I wouldn't like go and save and fight the world, I guess. And I like to create things, but I'll probably go with the first one because like, I guess that's like supporting people and stuff. Okay, we're about to find out. Okay. I am Kate Warren. I am Kate. I am Kate. That is a pretty cool character. She's one of my favorites. Also known as Alice, Kate is a real sweetheart. She's a friend of nature and known to be one of the most caring characters. She can be quite shy, but she can raise her voice if she needs to. However bad things seem, Kate never gives up. Always fixing puzzles, and Kate is a thinker like Lenny. I think that pretty much describes me as well, but I'm not trying to be like sappy or anything, but like I'm pretty shy, I guess. And yeah, that was a fun quiz. And now I we know I'm most like Kate. Guys, I most like Kate. Okay, the next quiz we're going to be doing is another popular LPS series one, which is LPS Emily quiz. What character are you most like from Plainside High? And if you don't know what, that is a high school series made by LPS Emily. It's a really good series. It's a bit old now, but that doesn't matter. It's still really good. And this was uploaded 10 months ago, so it's pretty new and it's got all the finished character details, I guess, and 85 people have taken it. Okay, let's start this. There's eight questions, and the first question is... Okay, thanks for the introduction. Okay, first question. What do you prefer to do after school? You know, I don't like doing anything after school. I like just coming home. Because when you see your friends all day, it's a bit intense um, seeing them again after school and in the weekend. So I probably mm, let's just see the answers. Hang out with friends at a cafe, skateboarding, or be fabulous like always. I kind of know how to skateboard, so I guess I'd go skateboarding even though I don't really like going out of the house that much. Like I don't know, I just don't like going outside of the house, so I guess skateboarding is the most close to what I like to do. Question number two, what's your personality? Bubbly, sassy, laid back, secretive, or positive? I guess I'm bubbly. I think that means like all happy all the time, but I guess positive would be the same thing. So I guess I'll be like, I'm pretty positive, I guess. Yeah, I like to keep everything positive and happy. So we're just gonna go with positive. Question number three, what's your type of fashion? You're asking me this. Psst. Um, Bows, bows for life. Earrings, I stick with pearls. Anything, I'm beautiful. Um, I don't really care about fashion and I'm not girly at all. So I don't have earrings, I don't wear bows, I don't wear dresses. So I guess I'll just go a collar, I guess, because that's pretty similar. Because usually only the boy characters wear collars, so that's close to me, I guess. Question number four. Question number four. What do you look for in a friend? Someone caring and fun, someone like me, anyone who likes to hang, anyone I can trust, people that follow me around. Someone caring and fun, because I like having friends that are caring and nice and that are fun, so I don't really want the people who are mean and aren't fun at all, so I guess I'll just go someone caring and fun. Question number five, what's your favorite type of music? Emo, Panic at the Disco, 21 Pilots and Fall Out Boy, oldies like 1980s, 1990s, classical, Mozart Forever, rock music such as Nickelode oh, I thought I said Nickelodeon, Nickelback, Bon Jovi, who's that, Pop, Taylor Swift, Katy Perry, Little Mix, Fifth Harmony, Halsey, Chainsmokers, Zed, Alicia Cara, Demi Lovato, okay, we get, okay, I think I'll probably go the top one because I don't really like emo music and I don't I don't mind old music but like I don't really know much of it and I don't really listen to classical music and I don't listen to rock music but 21 Pilots and Panic at the Disco are pretty good so with the first one but like 
I don't really like music that much either, so yeah, this is the closest one to me, I guess. Question number six. Did you enjoy this quiz? I don't see how this relates to the quiz, but anyway, yeah, I love quizzes. We're just going to go with that because the other two are, oh, sure, I guess, or sure, dude. So yeah, I love quizzes. They're fun. Question number seven. Will you take any more of my quizzes? Uh, sure. Please leave a like. Okay. We're just going to go this one. Okay. LPS Emily quiz results are you are Jason. Hot and hotter. Every girl has a crush on you. You know who is right and who is wrong. Okay. That was... That's kind of strange. <laughs> it's kind of funny though. Um, yeah, I got Jason. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next quiz. Okay. The next quiz we're going to be doing is What LPS popular character are you? And this is an unofficial quiz, but yeah, it's still a good quiz. And it's got 135 taggers, and it was made last year, so pretty recent. The first question is, what do you look for in a friend? Um, popular, so I can be looked upon. Kind, outgoing, loyal, truthful, kawaii-ness. Oh, kawaii-ness. That, that's a pretty great answer, but I've got to go with loyal and truthful, because I like friends being nice and trustworthy. So we're just going to go with the third one. Question two, what do you look for in a boyfriend slash girlfriend? Okay, I don't date people, it's kind of weird at my age. Yeah, so we're just going to go with kind people, yeah, because there's popular guys, popular girls, hot guys, kind guys, kind girls. Okay, we're going to just go kind people, yeah. Um, what is the closest personality out of these that suit you? Kind slash loyal, unforgiving and mean, untruthful to keep your friends. Um, kind, unloyal, but forgiving. Um, I guess kind and loyal because I like to be honest with my friends and I like to be supportive whenever I can and I like to help people so I guess I'll just go with the first one. Question number four. What do you do in your spare time? Snapchat. I don't have Snapchat. Read. I like reading so maybe. Talk with friends. I don't like hanging out with friends all the time like I said go out with friends. Once again, I don't really like going out with friends a lot, so not go out with friends. Party hard. No, I don't like parties. They're just like boring and loud, even though I don't really go to them because like betray good friends. Or oh, is that a hobby? What do you do in your spare time? Betray good friends. No, I'm just kidding. I'd probably say read because that's the only thing I really can relate to. So I'm just going to go with read. Question number five. If you wanted to go anywhere, what would that be? Um, I don't know. The first question answer is anywhere but here. <laughs> Sass. Um, now we'll stay here. Paris, this isn't just Tom. Back to your old house or the mall. I hate the mall. My last video was five things I hate about the mall. Click the eye in the corner if you want to watch it. I like doing stuff in some places you just can't do anything. So Paris, Paris would be pretty cool. So I'm just gonna go with Paris. Question number six. What is your fave animal? Be truthful. <laughs> okay, why wouldn't you be truthful? Okay, normal cats, what's What's a non-normal cat? Like, what? Do you, what is a normal cat? I. Uh, okay, dashoons, um, dash dash hounds, um, dash hounds. Okay, collies, great dames, any non. Anyways, we're just gonna go with collies because I love collies. They're so fluffy, and yes, well, LPS type. I like collies the most, but. Yeah, and in real life, out of these ones, I'll just go with Collies. Question number seven. If you saw a friend you haven't hung out with a long time, how would you react? Again, I don't really hang out with friends a lot, so yeah. <laughs> Tell them to stay out of my way, things change. Hi, how are you? Oh, gee, I missed you so much. Oh, hey, bro, I don't want to hang out right now. Well, if I saw someone I haven't like seen in a long time, I would kind of just like not talk to them unless like they came up to me. Because, yeah, I don't know. So I guess I'll just go with 
they came up to me, I would say, hi, how are you, I guess. So, yeah. Because I wouldn't be like, I don't want to talk to you right now. Yeah, you get it. Okay. Let's see who it is. I am Savannah Reed. Okay. I didn't expect this because she's a drama queen. No offense to LP is popular. Okay, whoa. There is a long description. Okay. She was a friendly girl? Do you mean she is? All these viewers who are watching this have probably watched LP is popular, so you guys know what LP is popular characters are like, so you know who Savannah Reed is. I thought I would have got like one of the sidekicks or something. So yeah, those were the three quizzes I did for you guys today. If you guys would like a part two, let me know in the comments below because I love doing these types of videos. So let me know if you guys would want a part two. And yeah. And also, I made my own quiz. It's which LPS reputation character are you? The link will be in the description. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye guys.